hello all when we are talking about uh, uh, the signal integrity analysis we always bother about the models that are used for that analysis right so what do we mean by models models are nothing but the representation of um, the particular chips that we are going to use in the simulation that means the model should be as perfect as possible right so here uh, we are seeing a simple io buffer circuit model here uh, it's it's basically a um, representation of the circuit in its simplest form to give a view of how a io buffer looks like so if you take any io buffer mostly they follow the uh, similar structure so we can we can attribute this to a cmos io buffer okay so if you start from the right this is the io pin the square box and then we have um, the pin um, attributes so pins have um, resistance inductance and capacitance right so um, they they are actually uh, represented here so the rlc parameters and then we have something called c comp this is nothing but um, a the uh, the die capacitance of the uh, chip that we are using and post um, these uh, the uh, exactly at the input we have clamping diodes right uh, um, which helps in uh, the protection of the pins so these clamping diodes um, are present at the input which are very very important in the functionality of this particular buffer and then post that we have pull up and pull down internal pull up and pull down on the iOS right this is and then um, the signal uh, whether it is input or output passes to the respective sections of that particular buffer or this this we can also add um, a uh, buffer circuit of a particular microcontroller uh, so the, these uh, i was reached to the uh, specific sections now um, let us understand how to represent this in a ibis model now let us look at it okay so if you see it, the same io uh, buffer circuit that we have represented uh, uh, is shown here and now let us talk what an IBIS model comprises based on this circuit. See, uh, the first thing, the package RLC values will be part of the IBIS model. And then um, you will have uh, the die capacitance and then um, the clamping diodes and uh, the pull up pull down resistors that are present are characterized by the IV characteristics. So what do you mean by IV characteristics? Um, we all know, right, uh, for a given voltage, what would be the uh, current that will be provided um, or the current that uh, <coughs> sinks. Um, so these characteristics will be provided by uh, the IV curves. So these are represented as plain tabular forms. Um, and then um, one important characteristic that we need to analyze is the rise time and fall time. That means uh, um, the rate of uh, change of voltage with respect to time. So um, people call it uh, uh, slew rate as well. So uh, rise time, fall time, slew rates, IV curves, die capacitance rlc parameters all these um, will be part of the uh, ibis models now let us look at an ibis model to see how uh, they are represented if you see here this is ibis model of uh, um, a 48 pin um, buffer from texas instruments so which is abt 16245a now, uh, if you if you scroll down, initially this is all description of the file which will be present for any kind of files, whether it be a programming file or any others. So, and then there's a disclaimer. So here, um, this is where the actual model starts. So the first thing, component manufacturer, and then you can see RLC package. So this is what we have talked right the pin rlc parameters so typical min and max values 
are represented um, for this RLC. And then post that um, we have each and every pin and uh, um, every pins RLC are mentioned here. So this is, this is actually a um, complete a generic representation. Uh, and for individual pin, as we connect different pins, so um, it's not just uh, uh, one pin on a package, right? You will have several pins, and pins can be power pins, pins can be signal pins. So based on that, um, you will have uh, RLC parameters. So uh, they are actually uh, represented here. And then when we scroll down, um, you we can we can see this is for a different package. So same IC can have different packages, right? SSOP, SOIC, so different packages. So um, all these will be part of the IBIS model as well. And then if you scroll down, uh, you can see here um, this is the C comp value that we have talked the die capacitance. So um, um, the VIN low and VIN high are mentioned and uh, how the enable signal is that is mentioned as well uh, and uh, <coughs> one has to rem uh, remember that um, the, the performance of these uh, um, buffers vary with the temperature so uh, it is given at different temperature ranges now if you see for this particular model um, the the buffer characteristics are for the um, die capacitance are provided only at 25 degrees centigrade so uh, this uh, is uh, uh, very very important which we need to look at and then if you scroll down further post to the c comp so now we'll we'll talk about this uh, the temperature ranges and if it is not mentioned what to do all these we'll talk later and then if you scroll down um, we can see that uh, there is a uh, pull up um, <coughs> related uh, characteristic iv characteristic that is mentioned uh, so you can see uh, for a given voltage the typical i value min um, i value and max i value are mentioned for various voltage ranges the pull-ups post the pull-up you will have um, pull down uh, characteristic iv uh, related characteristic so pull up is mentioned pull down is mentioned and then um, if we come down you will have clamping now we have power clamps we have ground clamps right which we talked in the previous video so even um, the voltages and uh, the currents are mentioned for the same so, and post that power clamp so we have talked about pull up, pull down, power clamps, ground clamp, IV characteristic. And the last one that is important is dV by dt, right? So you can see here the rise time, um, the typical rise time, um, minimum rise time, maximum rise time. Um, uh, that is the dV by dt characteristic of this IC is mentioned. So if you see IBIS model, it is basically extracted during the IC design and you will have all the you know, RLC characteristics. Then the die capacitance is mentioned, which is mentioned as C-comp um, and then uh, the IV um, curve. We are, we are mentioning curve. Basically, it is in a tabular form. So, for different voltages, what would be the currents uh, from the pull-up, pull-down and the ground clamp and power clamp. And then, uh, we also have uh, dV, by D, dV, B, dV by DT uh, rise and fall, which uh, uh, also mentioned in typical minimum and max. So, this is how um, a IBIS model uh, is um, represented which is used in the uh, simulations so now um, as we talked this is for a cmos iv buffer and there will be a difference based on um, the kind of buffers that we are using so this gives a overall view of the ibis model that is used for simulations